Right, briefly, before we go on our site visit today, we're going to talk about bank accounts. Now, I'm not going to go through in great detail. It's one of my popular videos on YouTube. Uh, Vanish, my mentor, told me to do this for about six months before I did it, because, like, you know, what's he know? <laughs> Duh! <laughs> and it is the most sensible thing I have ever done in my business. Rent income comes in, and then I have standing orders set up to pay the mortgages, to pay the re uh, bills and repairs, to pay Susanna's profit, to pay the utilities, uh, what else? Investor payment, and obviously the tenant deposits are set as a separate amount. And it is all automated. All we need to do is to check that the rent has come in all of the rest, you know that worry, oh my God, are all my mortgages covered? Are my bills covered? And is my profit popping into my profit account? It's automatic, so set it up. And most of mine, it, the ones that you do need to pay bills with, like we had to pay for a boiler, 2,300, which is actually getting replaced tomorrow. You need a card for that, don't you? And you probably need a checkbook. The majority of these, you don't necessarily, uh, the only proper, the only bank accounts I pay money out of is my profit account, uh, my utility bills and my repairs and maintenance. They're the only ones I need to actually do any transactions with because my mortgage interest that I pay, of course, is all direct debit. So it's all online, isn't it? So the majority of those I've just set up on the... I, I, I happen to have Lloyd's TSB and I set up e-accounts for all the rest. It is so smooth because then you never sat there working out with a pen and paper or back of an envelope. Can you make sure that everything's covered? It's like it's organised. So, so I just said it to you that all those bank accounts. Yeah. I got all, yeah, that's just for my personal portfolio. Then I have the same for my limited company portfolio. Yep, she's seen them. Yep. Yeah. First time we ever met, we went, oh, jam jars. Yes, we did. They're jam jars. I want them to use just one bank account. Confuse the rock out of me. So at the moment, I'm in a lovely, stable position. I'm, I'm renovating one property and then I've got another property to renovate, right? Uh, for the first seven years, I was buying, renovating, getting ready, renting out, buying, renovating, getting ready, renting out, right? Oh my goodness. So if I hadn't separated out, I'd be like n robbing Peter to pay Paul to renovate stuff. So does that ring bells with everybody who's been a property investor? By separating it out, all of my rental portfolio is separated out from my development of my portfolio. Yes. 